you don't need to stress over the small things. Hello and welcome to our video. Today, we will be summarizing Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. By the end of this short book summary, you will not only understand the big ideas and key takeaways from the book, but you will also be able to discuss and implement them as well. So be sure to watch until the end. But first, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive more money-making tips and to learn from more of the world's greatest books on personal finance, entrepreneurship, and mindset in a fraction of the time. Also, make sure to comment I subscribe below so that we can thank you. A quote from the book says, Stress is nothing more than a socially acceptable form of mental illness. The central thesis of best-selling author Richard Carlson's Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff, is to deal with angst or anger. We need to measure a perspective rather than some upbeat self-help prescriptions for changing ourselves. If you are in a situation where you are unable to focus because you are more stressed with the little things than you need to, take notes as we list down the key notes from the book. Key lesson number one, you are not living in an emergency. Your life is not in danger. It's a beautiful experience you alone get to have and you only get one chance. So stop approaching each day as if you were driving an ambulance, rushing from one stop to the next trying to please everyone all the time and cater to everyone's needs. You'll end up overworking yourself and collapsing from stress. You are just running around and trying to beat the competition when there is none. The basic competition in life is to be happy and lead a comfortable life. It would be best if you shifted your focus from living under threat to living gratefully. Try to bore yourself intentionally. Make a point of not doing anything for an hour or two. You'll be frustrated at first and long for your smartphone or laptop. But after a while, you'll realize how much freedom and peace it brings to be able to do nothing for a change. Take a step back, disregard other people's requests, and simply follow your own desires. Stop trying to please others and start doing what's best for you. There is no one else to save but yourself, but keep in mind that your life is not an emergency. Key lesson number two. Try to give others a break. This is for the people who make your day difficult. For example, the officer who writes you a parking ticket, a salon employee who ruined your nails, or a hairstylist who ruined your hair. When you are about to lose it, slow down, relax, and think for a while. Try to put yourself in others' shoes for a while. Maybe the salon employee had bad news in the morning, or they might be feeling sick. Maybe they are worried about their kids back home, who might be unattended. How would you feel if you were in the same situation? Would you be able to pay attention and give your 100%? What a simple thought experiment can accomplish. Give others a break when they need it the most. That is when they require it the most. It will make you both happy. Treating others well is the best way to treat yourself well. Key lesson number three, don't waste time relaxing. It is not like you should not relax, but you should relax when you are supposed to. If you are relaxing by delaying your important tasks, you end up regretting it. Rather than only relaxing on weekends or holidays, take a break whenever you need it. Have you had a particularly long day at work? Take the following morning off. Your happiness should always take precedence over some arbitrary work project. So when you are feeling particularly stressed, take a breather. Breathe, remember what is truly important, or call your mother and say hello for five minutes. Yes, you can relax even when things are hectic. It is not something that can wait until the weekend, as well as your five days off for Christmas. You can unwind right now. Get some of that laid back attitude before you crash and burn. And everyone around you, especially you, will be happier. That's it for our book summary of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. We hope you found it both informative and entertaining. If you did, hit that like button as it helps the channel out. If you want to learn more, you should buy Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. You could pick it up with the affiliate links below. We will return with more book summaries and money-making tips soon. In the meantime, please like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is added. Also, let us know in the comments if there is a specific book you want us to summarize next. And until next time, we hope your personal success surpasses your dreams. Goodbye.